in between classes I would sell each Twizzler for like 25 cents. Do you know how much money I used to bring home after selling that whole jar of like 500 Twizzlers? Sis was making bread in sixth grade, okay? I think that's when I became a hustler actually. I'm a hustler, baby. Hustler. I just uh -huh. want you to know. Alana here welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel my name is Alana and I make awesome videos on everything related to beauty style and just life so if you like videos like that don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave here today so that way you can be updated whenever I upload a new video so in today's video we are talking about side hustles that you can start right now right now so the way that this country is set up, you are going to work forever and then retire and then die. So what I want you guys to remember is that a side hustle is always a good thing. Extra money is always a good thing. And a lot of times side hustles can turn into not so side hustles, more like full time hustles where you can be in control of your own finances. And that's always a good thing. Starting with number one, my number one way to make some extra money on the side is to freelance. Now freelancing just basically means that you are an independent contractor you don't work for anybody but yourself and you are giving services to someone else one of my favorite websites to hire freelancers on is fiverr.com and I will have the link listed down below in the description box so that way you guys can check the website out for yourself just in case you want to sign up to become a freelancer there's other websites like upwork.com thumbtack.com and literally anything from makeup services to photography services gigs for stylists on there pretty much any talent that you have that you're willing to do for someone else you can definitely get paid to do it you just got to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do for example i am a freelance hair and makeup artist i contract out my services to people who need my services and i get paid to do them it's things that i love to do and i make money while doing it the best part about it is most of the time you get paid on the spot and there's not really anyone else that you have to pay when you're doing a service and you're kind of running your own thing Number two is blogging. Starting a blog or a YouTube channel, like a vlog, is also a great way to, you know, side hustle it out. Starting a blog can be very lucrative. There's things like affiliate links and, you know, you can work with different companies and get paid to post. I started my first blog when I was in college. I started my YouTube channel when I was in college as well. My first blog was on a site called blogger.com and I set it up there. I used to post a couple Couple times a week and then I would promote my posts on Pinterest and before I knew it my posts were getting so many hits a day they were ranking on Google and I was making money from Google because there were ads on my blog as well that people were seeing and clicking on that were relevant to the stuff that I was posting and that's similar to the way that we get paid here on YouTube it's just you know when you guys see the ads that roll before the video don't skip them ads okay because I need my money <laughs> those are different ways that you can get paid as a blogger now when you are a blogger when you're getting paid you know you're only getting paid once a month from the platform that you're working on most of the time but like I said you could definitely work with different brands and do collaborations where you can get paid you know more often number three is to teach English online via websites like VIP kid there's a couple of other websites that I'll link to you down below but there's a lot of work from home type of gigs like that where you can teach someone English online usually these jobs run like in the middle of the night because you're normally working with someone or like a child who is in a different country who's learning English as a second language so I don't think you need a degree to do VIP kid I'm not a thousand percent sure though so definitely do your own research but I know that it is a good way to make money sometimes they pay between like 14 to 22 dollars per hour depending on what assignment you're on and I don't know about you guys but that sounds pretty good to me to be up you know teaching someone to talk like I do so I'm here for it 
Number four is to open up an eBay store. Now, eBay is a very lucrative website. I'm someone who shops on eBay a lot. A lot of people that I know actually buy stuff from thrift stores and sell it on eBay. If you've ever read the book Girl Boss, or if you know the story of Sofia Amoroso, I think that's her name, but the founder of Nasty Gal, that's actually how she got her start. She was shopping in thrift stores and then resell them online on eBay, and she would actually end up making a lot of money from it. But you can sell anything like electronics, you can sell antiques. Even if you have like extra stuff in your house that you're not using, let's say like you have an old DVD player, or maybe an old camera that you're not really using, Using, put it on eBay I'm telling you I've made like a lot of money from selling old shoes and equipment and stuff like that that I just don't use anymore there are also other websites like poshmark.com where you can sell your clothes I think they they'll let you sell any type of clothing so it doesn't have to be like any designer clothing or anything like that it could just be anything out of your closet you could put it up on poshmark and sell it to someone who's looking to add something like that to their closet Number five is Airbnb. Let me put you guys on game, okay? So Airbnb is an awesome way to side hustle. If you have an extra room in your house or if you have some type of rental property that's not being occupied, you could set it up for Airbnb. People on Airbnb make an average of four to like $6,000 a month depending on what location you're in just by renting out extra space in their home and it's crazy because you literally don't really have to do much but make sure that it is a nice and presentable environment for a guest to stay listen on the website let it go live and you know people will pay money to come and stay in your space and just make sure that you're a great host you can get great reviews and more and more people will book you and you will make a lot of money number six is online surveys i know that this is kind of a weird way to side hustle but i'm telling you guys i have done it before there are websites that you can go to that will basically pay you to do surveys or to like test out different websites for them and things like that so online surveys are a great way to make money you can really make anywhere from like two dollars per survey all the way up to like 25 30 sometimes even 50 depending on what the survey is it's a great way to side hustle a little extra padding in your bank account you know number seven is to start an Etsy store online Etsy is one of my favorite websites to go and find unique items I buy like when I have events and parties and stuff especially for my daughter I go and I buy my decorations from Etsy you can set up a store you can sell prints so let's say you if you do graphic design if you want to make some pretty quotes and put them on Etsy for people to download for even like a dollar per download you will be surprised at how many people go on Etsy to find things like this if you're someone who makes jewelry maybe you make shoes you make t-shirts mugs bath and body products candles anything that you can make at home you can sell on etsy it would be totally worth it if you're someone who does things like that to sign up for an etsy account and you can literally make money in your sleep i don't know about you but that sounds like a pretty good side hustle to me Number eight is virtual assistant. Now this is a really big low key position, okay? Because a lot of big business owners and a lot of just entrepreneurs need help with their businesses. A lot of times they outsource to virtual assistants, especially people who work from home and you know don't really have an office to keep an assistant in. It totally works to outsource to a virtual assistant that works from their own home online. And virtual assistants get paid anywhere from like, seven dollars an hour all the way up to like twenty two dollars an hour depending on what tasks you're doing websites like upwork.com people per hour there's a bunch of other like virtual assistance websites that you can sign up for but even if you just wanted to go online and just advertise your services as a virtual assistant you will probably be surprised at how many people actually do need your services even if it's something as simple as just shooting out emails certain things take up a lot of time and time is just really something that entrepreneurs don't have a lot of so being a virtual assistant if you're someone who's good at organizing if you're good at booking definitely you know do a quick search try to find some virtual assistant positions because those are great side hustles to have number nine is some type of guardianship that could either be babysitting dog sitting house sitting 
or one of my favorite substitute teaching. I was a substitute teacher for a while and I taught at my old high school and it was pretty fun. You know, I got to interact with the kids and I was even asked to stay long term. Now with subbing, you get paid per day and you know, you don't really work for anybody. It's just kind of like, you know, you go when you feel like it, you don't when you don't. So that was a great hustle for me because I wasn't always available. Obviously I'm an entrepreneur. I work on things, you know, outside of school, outside of, you know, that working experience. So I need the time that I need to myself to work on my own projects. Substitute teaching was a great way to make some extra side money without the commitment of being an actual like full-time teacher now babysitting that's another lucrative way to make money because y'all goodness child care is expensive okay and I have a daughter even though I work from home I had to pay for child care she had to go somewhere where she couldn't be running up and down a hallway screaming so I can get my work done kids need 24 7 supervision especially the little ones especially the babies especially the toddlers and parents we pay big money for child care especially quality child care so if you know someone in your neighborhood that needs you know help with their kids inquire let them know hey you know I'm babysitting you could really make anywhere from five dollars an hour to maybe like 15 20 dollars an hour same thing with house sitting a lot of times when people go out of town especially when they have like dogs and stuff they need someone to feed their animal to walk their animal and what better way to make money than to do it for them i definitely would sign up for one of those websites like sittercity.com or care.com or something like that because most of the time people are not just gonna let you in a house without a background check you know what i'm saying unless you know them then you know of course i definitely would look into something like that as a side hustle because i know people who actually really make a lot of money babysitting and house sitting and dog sitting and substitute teaching and they're great side hustles so don't discount them Number 10 is cooking and baking for other people. When I was younger, my mom used to make dinners on Saturdays. Like my mom cooked really, really good and people were always asking her like, hey, can you make macaroni for me? Can you make string beans? Like they loved her food. So what my mom decided to do was she used to make like a huge pan of food on Saturday mornings and then she would just tell people like, look, I'm selling dinners. She went and got like the styrofoam boxes. She'd make like, you know, lemonade to go with it and people would come and they'd pay like 10 to $12 for a dinner and my mom used to make bread on the weekends okay and don't let it be a football game okay because people are gonna be hungry and we live right by the football field and people would just come and order food and you know that was a nice little side hustle that my mom had now i know people who meal prep um especially for like think about it there's a lot of people right now in this world that work a lot of hours and especially people who are not married you know who um are single like a lot of single men they don't have anyone at home cooking for them and nine times out of ten they don't have enough time to really go out and go food shopping and then cook for themselves so a lot of times men you know either eat out or they hire like someone to come and do meal prep where they'll just come and drop off food for the whole entire week I know a lot of busy professionals that do that and there's a lot of money to be made if you like to cook same thing with baking people people like sweets especially when thanksgiving when holidays come around if you know how to bake girl put that to use bake cakes for parties for birthdays for events reach out to family and friends if you know that someone's you know having an event or has events or something like that reach out let them know that you'll cook and that can be a little side hustle for you Number 11 is buy in bulk and sell. Now this is something that I used to do when I was younger. Let me tell you guys, when I was in middle school, my aunt would take me to BJ's and I would get like the big pack of Twizzlers from BJ's. It was like a big jar full of Twizzlers that I would get and I would keep them in my locker. And what I would do is that in between classes, I would sell each Twizzler for like 25 cent. Do you know how much money I used to bring home? after selling that whole jar of like 500 Twizzlers. Sis was making bread in sixth grade, okay? That's when I understood the power of making your own money. <laughs> That's when I officially became a hustler, okay? But yeah, buying in bulk, you know, let's say that you work in an office where there's no snacks available, there's no vending machine, there's no food. Get yourself a little, you know, cooler. Maybe keep a couple of waters, a couple of juices, maybe sodas, go and buy some, you know, snack bars in bulk some chips in bulk and just sell them out of your office let me really put y'all on game if you are in college and you are in a dorm room 
go to BJ's or Costco or Sam's Club and buy snacks in bulk. A lot of people on campus do not have cars, they don't have transportation, and you know, there's like curfews on campus and stuff. People can't always leave their room to get what they want. People don't always have money to order what they want. So if you're that person who's selling dinners, you know, out of your dorm room, let's say you're using a community kitchen, you're buying food in bulk, you're cooking it, you're selling dinners on the weekend, boom. All your clients live in your in your dorm trust me a lot of your classmates will probably most likely be your customers and you'll be surprised at how much that money adds up okay last but not least my 12th side hustle that you can start today is to drive for uber or lyft obviously you need to have a car for something like this but if you do have a car then it is worth it to sign up for uber or lyft and use any of your downtime to drive you can get paid on the spot you don't really have any overhead besides like gas making sure that you have insurance on your car but that's things that you need in your car anyway but uber and lyft like i know people who have like careers driving lyft and uber and they make a lot of money like people make a living driving you know driving around so it's definitely worth it to look into if you're looking for a nice and easy quick side hustle that you can start today and get paid ASAP okay so that is it for my list of side hustles that you guys can start today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and let's start the conversation down below let me know do you guys like are you familiar with any of these side hustles that I mentioned in this list do you do any of those do you sell on eBay do you drive for Lyft do you Airbnb out you know a part of your home I want to hear about it down below and also if you do not have a side hustle do any of these options that i've given you sound attractive and which one do you think you would be trying out so i can't wait to hear you guys answers i can't wait to respond to you guys as always thank you for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye